afternoon everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's my day to go fishing and for once the sun is out. Not sure it's going to last, we're going to have to see about that. Um, generally, when I go fishing, it rains, it blows, it is blowing, it is quite blowy. I'm here at Herm Bay. Don't do this very often, I was only here two weeks ago and I've come back again. Uh, this time because I have been invited up by Rowley who is down there on the other apron behind me. And we're going to speak to him in a bit because he's doing something a lot different. Well, not a lot different. He's fishing for rays. We're fishing for rays. He, they're all fishing for rays. But I'm going to go and show you what he's doing because um, it's quite interesting. Um, we've got a southwesterly, which is coming across and blowing right across the sea. It's quite a strong one, sort of 20 miles an hour. Um, not a big tide today, but a decent coefficient. So I'm hoping that the rays come on the feed. Also, we've got an extra hour of light, so we're in in uh, in light until sort of eight o'clock now. So um, makes filming a lot easier. I've got my rod set up. I'll show you what I've got there in a second, and let's get baited up and get out for some race. Right. So on my first rod, I'm going to put some bluey and razor, just as a wrap. Never tried it, so I'm going to take the back end of this bluey off. So I'm going to. Take the tail off, don't need, that goes there. I want about four inches long, like so, there. I'll take that like that. And then I'm gonna split that down, take a fillet off that. There we go, right. Take this side, because it's a bit more meaty. And then gonna take a razor out of there. Like that. Take a razor out of there, like that. Cut that off, so that's the same size as the bait. That's the bait that I've got. Two razors and a bluey. Then I'm gonna wrap these up together with a bait elastic. Just lightly, so they're all together, like so. Try and get it nice and neat, nice and straight. Like that. working my, my way along this bait as equally as I can. There we go. Turn that around and do that last bit. So then I'm gonna cut that off at the end, the bait, not the bait elastic. So that is nice and equal. Got bluey and razor. I've then got my two hooks. Just got the sliding top hook there, octopus hook, and this is called a panel setup with a sliding hook in it. I've just been I've just been interrupted by someone. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do? Big hook, just straighten the bait back out. Bottom, like so. We'll get that wrapped on. It's very windy. I know what's going to be said in a minute by the chap that's watching over my shoulder, but I'm going to knock this off my bait elastic and snap it. But there is a gentleman right next to me. Hello, Roly. This is Roly from uh, uh, Ron Edwards Tackle up in the high street. You have a problem with me doing that. You don't like it, do you? <laughs> there is no point. There really is not much point. I just do it. Force of habit. How are you doing? You're doing well. I haven't had any fish yet. How long have you been fishing in? Today. An hour? An hour. You're doing something different, aren't you? Along there. Yeah. I'll come along in a minute and we'll have a look at what you're doing. Right, let's get this one out. Right, I've just come to watch the cars. What's we take that windscreen out? <laughs> Ping. You ain't got a dodgy tip, so that was good. No, I'm not snapping. 
tell you the other thing. Go on, don't do it again. No, I'll tell you what you're going to no, do. You're going to catch something through. No, you're going to lean forward. Yeah. And you're going to hit slack on. Right, so how do I come back that? I'll come back sideways. <laughs> Just try and complicate it. I'd never, I never, I'd never come up and over sideways. Let's play. Let's try. I haven't put that screen through that lorry. <laughs> Well, it's gone 10 o'clock, but it's flown. With let minimal effort. Oh, Riley, you might be right. Well, I've just cast my first rod. I had a little bit of a lesson. Um, I've had a lesson before when I went to the casting, uh, casting practice up at Tilmanston. I've done a video on that, so I'll, I'll link that up there now. But um, I'm next to Roly here, look, there he is. He's a man from Ron Edwards. So any, if you want bait, tackle, and you're fishing this area, get down to Ron Edwards tackle in the high street in Herne Bay, and he will sort you out. Just uh, oh, yeah. check online first though, because sometimes fishing's more important than actually opening your shop. Is that right? No, no, <laughs> cast is more important than opening shop. Cast is more important. But anyway, you're, um, do you want to show us what you've got in front of you? Because, uh, Roly is, uh, is this, is this, what's, what's this, why are you doing this? Why fun. are you fishing? For fun, right, For so fun. let's have a look at one of his setups. He's obviously he's got his, uh, his two setups there, standard setups going out there with, what have you got, uh, up and overs or? No, just pulleys. Pulley rigs, pulley rigs for rays. And then you've got this. You've got this. And then you've got this. There we are, so what is the reel on that? It's a Grison Young's Orlando. Okay, um, what what's that? Thirty pound, twenty five pound line on there? Yeah, it's standard twenty pound line. I know. Yeah. With a shock leader. Okay. And to, to cast it. Yeah. You take the spool off and place it on the front, and it becomes a fixed spooler. Yeah. And then so to take it and to reel it in, you've got the. In, you take it off. It could be back on there and you've got the beauty of just reeling it straight onto so, the spool. Yeah, we put a little elastic band on there just to stop, stop it, it rolling. rolling back in. And what's the rod? Yeah, old. Old! <laughs> it looks quite It looks quite flexible. It is very. It nice. looks very flexible. Yeah, look, Steve's having a wind in there. Oh, there's, his is quite flexible as well. <laughs> look at this. And he's using the Grison Young's Orlando as well. He's using the same reel as well. Look at that. There we go. Let's get a little close up on that. Look at that. I can, I can hear heavy panting. You can, but it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever. It, it winds up about a foot at a time. A foot at a time. Yeah. And how far have you got these out? Oh, quite a 100 meters plus. 100 meters plus, yeah, so it's a, a good workout. Yeah. It'd be good to get a fish on these, wouldn't it? Yeah, we did have, we we've did had skate on them. You've had skate yeah, on them? Yeah, last year we had. Was it last year or the year before? We can't remember. No, <laughs> too late to remember. Right, and this is what they're using. It's just a standard pulley rig there. Yeah. With a panel set up, two, two, yeah, two no, hooks. It's dongle. It's dongle. Oh, it's a dongle on there. Sorry, I thought it was a second hook. They're using dongles on it. Well, actually, actually, they're using hair rigs on it. Yeah, that's, not a don that's not a dongle rig. Right. It's not a dongle rig. I'm not having that. <laughs> but, no, you can't swear. That's the problem. You can't swear. So whatever you want to say, you have to hold it in. <laughs> right. Well, I hope you get something, Roly. I really, or I hope a few come out. Oh yeah, you have. Look, there we go. There's one there. One there. It's the gang. One there. Where's the fourth? Oh, one there. Yeah, of course he has. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, this is fishing in the 50s. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, I'm going to get back to mine. Just watch him cast. Oh, here we go. We're going to get a cast, and then I'm going to go back to mine and bake mine up. Let's have a look at this. Like with these, you cast once with it one way, and then you've got to turn it upside down and cast it the other way. Because it takes the spin out of the line. Oh, OK. So, and and, 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 and twist. Per, first uh, cast, it'll be like that. Yeah. Second this cast, cast, be like that. Right, OK. So it takes a spin out of your line. Wow. Well, there's a good, uh, good little point. That's a good tip that you're never ever going to use. No, well, I won't, but other people may. Show us how it's done.
Well done. Very nice. Did you see him splash? I did see it splash. Does yours go that far? My, my, I'm, I think I might be snagged on one of the uh, turbines. <laughs> <laughs> that was really interesting. Seeing them old wheels being used. Now I'm heading back this way to bait up my second rod. Um, Mark's here. He's got his two rods out. I think I failed to mention that I was fishing with Mark, but um, there he is. Oh, yeah. right. He's there. Look, hello. Oh, right. um, Roly just gave me a sweet. He gave me one, and he said, "Your Share mate's it. your mate's got a big belly." Yeah. So he's giving you four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. He's happy man. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're into it. <laughs> <That's probably. laughs> right, I am getting my other rod out. Right, on my second rod, which hasn't been out yet, I'm going to put just a straight mackerel fillet. So I'm taking the tail off there, taking that section off there, and with this blunt knife, I'm going to go through the bait like so that's a nice size bait my hook is somewhere on this rig it's again it's an up and over but i've got two bigger hooks so i'm going to hook this one before i bait elastic because it's not a cocktail bait so i don't need to get two baits together i can just get that one on and we bait elastic that like so and tight on there and then bring that second one down go for the opposite side and then we go around there very easy very simple just like that straight mackerel loop around like that I don't know why I do it it's a horse habit just to tuck it in snap it that's that done bait ready to be launched so let's get this second one cast out well I still haven't got my first rod out chatting away but there's something pulling on this so I'm gonna see what's on here could be a fish so we're gonna see but there's not Well, I've been here, where is it, quarter to five, quarter to six, what, two hours? What's the time? Seven. I've been here two hours and this is the first time in two hours both of my rods are out actually <laughs> fishing. Um, been a lot of talking, a lot of chat, a lot of going to see what's going on here, there and everywhere. But both rods are out. Roly has helped me. Um, I was only ever confident in tucking my lead behind me, casting that way but he sort of persuaded me to cast from the side off the ground and just in my head I was just telling myself don't whack it don't whack it just go through the motion smoothly and I've done that and it really has helped Mark also has put a bigger drop on his rod and your cast are going better aren't they yeah, mate? Well, that in there, they? yeah. So, so both of our casts have been improved he's helped out hasn't he? he has he's and helped the only out other plastic mate cooks some sweets Oops, some sweets, getting us fatter. He's getting us fatter. But no one has caught fish yet. There hasn't been a ray out yet. Um, so they've been here three hours, we've been here two. Hopefully 
things may change as the sun starts to set. The water is uh, very choppy. Well, no, it's a bit choppy and it's very chocolatey. We've got a nice crosswind, which is just uh, making the braid sing. But we hold out hope. It's not high tide yet. High tide is just after sunset. So let's hope the fish come on the feed. One thing going for us this week. Um, that, what's that, Mark? We ain't got Pete with us. <laughs> we ain't got Pete with us. There's one thing going for us. We should catch fish because Pete's, Pete's not, not here. Pete's not here. Yeah. He, he's he only has one rod out now anyway, will he? he need, like, I mean, yeah. What's the time now? It's quarter past seven. He'd pack up yeah. like He'd, wa he'd want to get back to watch one foot in the grave right. on gold. That's it, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. He's a bit like on the History Channel, I reckon. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. He likes watching, um, there's a one hour special on how to count rings in a tree once you cut it. <laughs> and Pete loves watching that. That's exactly how old they are. Or that tells you how old they are, and yeah. And Pete's never found a tree that's as old as him yet. No, he hasn't. <laughs> yeah, have you Pete? You haven't found a tree that's as old as you. Anyway, Pete, we'll bring you loads of fish because you're not here. <laughs> I love coming fishing. It's always so peaceful and quiet. Gets me into a real relaxed state of mind. Takes my mind off everything. So inconsiderate. This is very quiet. Mark's just bringing into a rebait before we lose the light. I'm gonna bring this one in here to my uh, left. There, let's get this one in. Get some fresh bait on here. Not only have I got this noise behind me constantly, it also absolutely reeks because they're pumping out a pump station. Ready to go out. Maybe up there. Done. So not only have me and Mark had part of this chorus for the last hour, half hour, not hour, seems like it. There's also quite a stench. So we've got the sound of some really bad techno going on. And we've also got the smell of Mark's trip to the loo behind us. It's not great. Um, let's hope they finish pumping soon, because this isn't very nice. No fish either, and we are high tide now, so we're stuck. Drop. Let's hope we get a fish soon. It absolutely reeks. It does absolutely reek. Um, gentlemen, how has your evening session been? <laughs> it's been very enjoyable. It's, uh, yeah, coffee. Coffee's, coffee's been nice. The coffee's been nice, yeah. Company's been good. Company's good. The fish? The fish? What fish? What? <laughs> Bill's had a whiting. <laughs> oh, has he? Yeah. So it's been one fish caught. But it is a small time, to be fair, isn't it? I mean, they like mid time, don't they? Oh, one whiting has been out, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rods. 
Yep. Well, I think it'd be an early night. Jabby looks good. Well, I did think Mark had caught a fish. Oh, he's caught a fish. Oh, he's caught a fish. Oh, he's caught a fish. But he'd actually caught a bit of rag. Yeah, that's a bit of on it. <laughs> right, well, this has been an awful session. So this one is coming in first. I don't think there's anything on that. Get him up. I'm going to get them both in. And that's it. Well, that is that. I've come over here. Mark's behind me. We've come over to Ro Roly and... Uh, Sorry, I've forgotten your name again. Steve. Steve. See, I'm useless for names. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Woohoo! This is about where the fish have been. <laughs> well, it's been poor, gents, hasn't it? It has. It's been poor. It hasn't been good at all. And, <laughs> and, and you're slightly luckier this end. Because you haven't put, had to put up with the awful stench that we've had. Yes, yes, we have. Well, you've had it. You've had 10% of it. Well, when you fish next to Rodeo, you get used to it. <laughs> it's the normal stench that you get. <laughs> anyway, while we're here with Rodeo, we're gonna we're gonna promote a bit of what you do. So and, and a bit of GSP fishing. Yeah, sea fishing. Don't sea fishing. Sea fishing. Sea fishing. Sea fishing. Yeah, no, no don't you start with that, Mark. No GPS. GPS. Anyone that's coming to the North Kent coast to fish for this area, Whitstable, for Culver, Minnis Bay, the Razor Inn, Smooth Hounds will be in soon. Check out One Edwards Tackle. You've got a Facebook page, haven't you? Yeah. Go into his shop, give him a call. He's always got bait in. You've always got lug, haven't you? Lug. Yeah. 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 yeah when you get in. So check that out, give his page a like, give his page a follow, and also Kent Sportcast. Kent Sportcast. So me and Mark have actually listened to someone today. We've listened to Roly. He's given us a little bit of help on our cast. And I mean Mark, you've uh, helped you out, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you were whacking yeah. it. Yeah, got yeah a lot better. Since they are one. Ah, at least. No, no I mean yours were going 20 yards and now they're going yeah. at least 25. 35. <laughs> Come on. But it's Kent Sportcast, get on get on their Facebook page if anyone wants to improve their casting. Come along. Come along. This is Come the man. Along. He will help you, uh, he will help you do it. Come along. Yeah. Come along. Well, he invited us along. He, I, I think he did promise fish. So this is not on me this time, this is not my fault. <laughs> this blank is on Roly, not on me. So next time, he won't be here and I'll catch. So it'll all be good. Stay tuned till next week. Like and subscribe. Oh, and this is the third video. Get your comments in for your chance to win the t-shirt. Please do that. And until next time, tight lines. Tight lines.